This is the worst thing a Christian can say to a trauma survivor. Picture yourself an adult. 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s. And you've tried to figure out all your life how to fit in this world. Because you never really knew your own identity. Because somebody really early on in life stole that from you. And every day of your life has been a searching of trying to figure out who you are. And with that comes major challenges to intimate relationships. Because you never really were taught what it means to have a good intimate relationship. Because your first experiences with intimate relationships was from people who you thought you trusted when you were a child. And so now every other relationship is damaged because of that. But you don't quite know that yet. You're just trying to figure out why you're not good enough for this other person. And why anything in the relationship goes wrong, how it always feels like it's your fault. And so that relationship falls apart and you're left alone once again until you find somebody else. And you think it's somebody who loves you, so you give all of yourself to that person. But something just doesn't start feeling right to you. And once again, you find yourself back in the same situation where you're not adding up to be everything that they want you to be. And here you go again thinking it's something about you. And so you try harder. You think that you must be crazy, something's wrong with your brain. Because it can't be their fault, right? And so you keep going through the motions trying to be the best that you can be, but there's so much out of your control that you just can't handle it. And you experience sleepless nights, anxiety, and you realize that all of these years of your life, you're dealing with PTSD. Because that trauma that you experienced when you were a kid never left you. Through a turn of events, you end up losing your other relationship. And you find yourself at a breaking point. And you might even find yourself in a point where you're considering taking your own life. But then something happens. Someone tells you about the hope in Jesus and how there is healing in Jesus. And something about that gospel message stirs your heart. And so you end up going to church with your friend and you hear the pastor talking about forgiveness and love and acceptance. And your heart stirs a little bit more until finally you end up praying with somebody and you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And it feels great. But as the weeks and months go by, you start experiencing this trauma all over again. Sure, you don't want to take your life anymore, but there's still pain that's residing within you. And so you go to your Christian friends and ask them what you need to do to help with this. Because you don't know about this Christianity stuff yet. And they give you the worst advice that any Christian could ever give someone who's healing from trauma, and it's this. You just need to trust Jesus more. When they should have led you to good Christian therapy. And that's why I wrote this song called Heal Today. Because even though you go through the pain, you can call on Jesus' name every day and get through every day by the power of Christ in you.